So it's morning here, morning in uh, morning in the Dominican Republic. We got up at 5 a.m. and we just left Cap Cana Marina. We're headed north up to Samana. And uh, just passed a big cable ship, uh, laying cable or doing something. But otherwise, it's just us out here. And beautiful, quiet morning, nice sunrise. There's the sun coming up. I think I just saw a green flash the opposite way. So we're just motoring along. But check this out. Let's see the bottom. This is insane. It's 130, 140, 150 feet deep. But look, look at the bottom. Can you see that? That's amazing. Sick of this Sagrasa weed. It fouls up my lines. What you got there? Another barracuda. How many of these guys do you think we've got? Well, we have a catch. Let's take a good look at his friendly, appetizing. Such a nice looking thing. fish. Do you want to just eat that? Have you ever seen a menu with barracuda tartare on it? We'll catch some someday. Okay, so we just saw a whale. It just happened. It's uh, straight ahead, guys. Come, come sit on the trampoline up front. Everyone, speak whale. Oh, there he is over there. You see it? Be nice to the whales, guys. We're not going to go close. Reese, I'm so disappointed in you right now. <laughs> Your life has peaked at they're seven. Joking. They're joking, Daddy. They're joking, right, guys? Oh, here's the spin again. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh. Holy cow. We're a little closer than I'd like to be. Hopefully he swims away from us. We're going to one of the most beautiful anchorages in the Caribbean, according to the reviews. Uh, sailing downwind with our reacher and the, the Admiral is back here under sail, shaving her legs. No, of course I'm going to take a video of this. Under sail, mind you, just ripping okay. along here at eight, eight knots, multitasker. She's never going to let me post that. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of this anchorage? Pierce, what do you think of this spot? This is amazing though, this is like just like Fiji, but in the Caribbean. Hey guys, where are we going? What are we going to do? There's no evil doers. Alright guys, so we're going to go check out some caves because we're in some pretty cool, pretty cool anchorage. Alright, we'll check that one out first. Yeah. This anchorage was similar to a giant maze and we just loved having the kids point us around telling us where to go as we kind of zipped and zigged and zagged through this place. It's pretty amazing. Awesome. Look at this cool beach. Bells off first. Hey, all you think you're the first person in this cave? Yeah. Guys, you want to camp here tonight with me? Do you? I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Tell me. They say, they say you can find a Coca-Cola logo everywhere on every block in the world. Even in a cave. It's kind of sad. Take that with us. 
Okay, off to the next one. Watch your heads. Watch your head, Hale. Watch your head. Ah! Kind of reminds me of Fiji or uh, Vietnam or Thailand. It's just in the Dominican Republic. Pretty amazing. What? Beach? What a cool little spot. How crazy a landscape. Look at that. That's jungle right there. Someone's, someone's camp? What? That's crazy. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, like a little table made out of wood. What? Hello, hola! What a place to hang out. It must be like a place where the fishermen come and hang out. No, I spotted the cave there. I'm like, whoa! Oh, what do you think, Ferris? So, <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> so what are they called hanging from the ceiling, guys? Yeah, what's that called? Tights. Um, tights. Tights. Okay. Yeah, top swag tights. Swag tights. Like tights. Look at the ceiling. Right there was like a giant. Okay. Like Suddenly. Like now we're in Louisiana. No, we're in the Degaba system. Also, <laughs> what's the Degaba system? Yoda yeah, we are totally in the Dagobah system. Doesn't this look like the Dagobah system? <laughs> so sad. It's just life through movies. Well, this is the Dagobah system. You can keep going. It is just unbelievable. Let's call it here, though. What an adventure. But we've met a new cruising buddy boat. This is a French TS catamaran. This, I think, might even be faster than Archer, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Pretty cool looking TS cap. A little more sparse inside, but speed is king. This should be an interesting passage. We're going from Samana, Dominican Republic, into the wind, beam to the wind, downwind, uh, for an overnight, so probably 17, 18 hours. And we're doing it against, not against, I mean with a TS-42, cruising cap. Uh, so it's same designer as an Ultramare, but uh, probably more lightweight, more about racing, more about sailing, less about cruising, a lot less space inside, but a pretty slick boat. Anyway, I'm impressed. Paul is raising his main at anchor and he's going he's gonna to drift back and sail away. So very impressive already. Let's see what happens. Let the fun begin. It's getting a little rough out here, but there's still a guy in a little panga. Right over there. These fishermen are all over the place. Beautiful. Sun's going down. Okay, here's where we are with the TS. So, they are four nautical miles behind us, but it's not been really fair. All we've been doing is motoring dead into the wind, and it seems that we're doing that a little bit faster. Maybe that's the extra 10 feet of, uh, or eight feet of, of, uh, of bow. However, we're ahead. We'll see what happens. Keep you updated. Okay, everybody, what's going on? Here. Yeah, what's going on? It looks a little rough behind you. We have just god awful conditions right now. The seas are super mixed up. Nice turtle. Okay, so a little update. Um, the TS-42 is no longer on AIS, so I think we've, I think we've moved past to at least 10 or 12 miles past him. He's, he's probably here somewhere, but I can't see him anymore, so it means we're moving away. We are sailing with a full main, and I've reefed the Genoa significantly. I should reef the main, but I don't want to wake Elizabeth up. I'm kind of on the edge, 17, 18 knots, which is my first reef point. So we're doing all right. So we've hit, uh, we're kind of ranging anywhere between 8 to 12 knots. And we've surfed down some, I think 12 is the most I saw. So we're doing all right. That's conservative. <laughs> it's nighttime. I don't want to go too fast. So uh, we're doing well. So far, we're holding our own on that TS-42, which I'm happy to say. 
but we'll see. Tomorrow day comes out, he's going to get a little more aggressive. We'll see what he throws up. All right, that's it for the 11 p.m. check-in. Okay, the sun is coming up. And here are the results. The end of our little race here between the TS-42 and the Utremer 51. Probably not a very fair race. I thought the TS-42 might be faster. I am so sorry, Utremer, that I ever doubted you. Uh, we crushed that boat. And again, maybe it wasn't a fair race, and I don't know what happened. We left 10 minutes early, uh, but we are four hours now ahead of them as we pull into our next port. So here's Ocean Wall uh, in north of the Dominican Republic. But again, four hours. That was the survey results. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more opportunities to sail back and forth with them. But uh, yeah, nice job, Archer. Nice job. Okay, let me see. Here comes the TS-42. I really hope we get another chance to cruise with these guys. Uh, it was great meeting them and it's a beautiful boat. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens in the next race.